Kansas State is lined up to kick the ball off first, and we are ready to go. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Arizona's coaching staff so confident they know they've got a guy that's one of the best running backs in the country and that they can just play their game and not worry about the fact they're on the road. Well, Brett, his big playability not only can give you big chunks of yards on the road, but more importantly, it can quiet this atmosphere and allow the quarterback in this offense just getting back. And Quick throw, picked off. This quarterback better start making better decisions in the passing game. Otherwise, this corner will come up with even more picks in the future. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 35-yard line. Tackle made right around the 38-yard line. Never really had a shot. They were on him almost as soon as he took the handoff. As a man, he'll lose big yards. Six yards setback. This defense is fast enough that they can create negative yards on completed passes. So the offense might want to consider that next time they try that play. From the 44-yard line, third down. Roger, Roger. Mike Sick, 33, 33. I'm, I'm coming up to you. Uh -huh. Got his man. Oh, what a hit. He made the catch, but he didn't get the first down. Yeah, well, right now, the way this defense is swarming, there's just no room for him to get upfield for the first down. Kansas State is looking to go up by three. The kick is up. It's got the distance. And he got it. and ready for the kickoff. He just drills this one. And he makes it out to about the 17-yard line. Wildcats are right where they want to be early in this one part. Well, this is what their coach talked about, getting off to a great start. The defense did their job, and it's nice to see the offense move the ball down the field and also get some points on the board. You know the offense will be looking to do better this time out. He's got a lot of time to forget about that last pick. He just got to stick to the game plan. Makes it out to maybe the 19-yard line. A two-yard run by the halfback. Fires out to his receiver, and he's taken down around the 29-yard line. When you can move the ball downfield in big chunks like that, you've got the defense right where you want them. Here's the throw. I don't think he got anything on that. Caught first down, and he's out of bounds. Superb effort by the receiver to come down with that ball. Uh, this comes down to the timing between the quarterback and the receiver, and the result, again, a nice play for the offense. Nice run there. Six yards there on the counter. Give the defense all the credit here. They had that one snuffed out from the start. It could have been an even bigger loss. Third and five situation. Ball on the 46. The defense has got some of their best pass defenders on the field. They set up in the dime to counter that five wide receiver set. They go back to him on a quick throw. Knocked out of bounds at the 50-yard line. Almost 
Hurst has the INT. I'm not going to fault that decision. It was definitely a first down that they could have picked up. You want to be aggressive early on, even if it doesn't always work out. I can't argue the play call. The defense just did their job by standing their ground. Well, the guys are chomping at the bit down there, waiting for the game to start back up. Kansas State is up a field goal. And they get nice yardage on that one. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Three down, three down. Park check, 33, 33. Ready, hot! Tailback brought down for a loss. That play was over before it got started. That was just a case of the offensive line getting beat at the snap of the ball. He was tackled immediately. Well, the defense has done their job and made a nice stand. Now let's see if the special teams can come up with something here as well. Let's see if he aims for the sideline and tries to get this thing down deep in their own territory. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. Well, this has really been stingy by both of these defenses. The question is, can they keep this pace up, though? I think that's a big challenge for them to be able to continue to play like this. Right now, the emotion of the game is favoring the two defenses, but I get a feeling it's a matter of time until one of these offenses starts clicking. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. A good play fake that time. Here, the play action was key. It held the linebackers there by the fake by the running back, and the running back did a very nice job of carrying out his fake. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Call the game seven yards. Got to make it second and four. Nice run, and he's brought down. That's a game of seven on the play. First down. He airs it out. Finds the junior. Touchdown, Arizona. White out here truly knows what he has to do to contribute to make his team successful. That's a great touchdown, Brad, but what happened to the coverage there by the defense? The defensive coordinator's got to be beside himself. You know, you work all week long on studying an offense and their tendencies, and then to have a mental error and to leave the star receiver open like that for a touchdown, well, they've got to regroup. And he adds the extra point. A four-play, 79-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. You know, you always prepare your offense to think that we're going to have some success. These guys got to be coming over the sidelines after touchdown, after touchdown, and saying, man, I, I didn't expect it to be this easy. The Wildcats really came prepared to play defense today, and the plan is working. Well, so far in this game, you've got to tip your cap to the defensive coordinator. He has clearly done a very good job of getting his team ready to play, and they have done a nice job of slowing down this very explosive offense. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Gives it up the gut. And they make the stop around the 28-yard line. That's a game of three on the way. That'll make it second and seven. From their own 28-yard line, second down. Throws it to the halfback on the screen. He's out of bounds around the 39-yard line. That was a nicely thrown ball with some arc on it. He's a very precise passer, and he makes it look easier than it is. That's a great tackle at the 45. 
fool. So they pick up quite a few yards on that play, Kirk. Well, that was an excellent route, and he did a great job of holding on to the football. From the 44-yard line, first down. He's on the run. They'll bring him down at the 40. A tight, low-scoring game in that first 15 minutes. Let's see if things open up in the second quarter. The Wildcats lead 7-3. And we welcome you back to the action here, and we have got a tight one going on in quarter number two. Down. Mike Schick, 33. 33. Ready? He's scrambling. It's third and five. Ball on the 40-yard line. He's taken down at about the 37-yard line. That'll make it fourth and two. Let's go! Black 90! That's a big break for this defense. You know, this offense just can't afford to be getting hit with the turnover bug. They need to hold on to the football. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Arizona is up four. He's got it out to his tight end. Brought down at the 50. Number 33 makes the tackle at the 50 yard line. That makes it second and six. Has some daylight. He's at the 40. He's tackled at about the 29 yard line. He kept it himself and picked up a good looking first down. Great execution and a good decision there by the quarterback. Makes it to the 21. That makes it second and two. Tackle at the 11 yard line. First down. and it's almost picked off. I'm not sure the quarterback saw him when he was getting ready to pass because he stuck his paw right in the passing lane. From the 11-yard line, it's second down. Makes a move, and he's in for the touchdown. This guy seems to make things happen no matter what kind of space he has to work with. All he needs is a little crease of daylight and forget about it. And he tacks on the extra point. It was a six play, 54 yard drive and a touchdown as a result. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well executed touchdown drive. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. 
He made a really good move at the line of scrimmage. Sometimes all you need to do is throw off the defender's timing just a little bit at the start of the play. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 39. Hands it to the back. Looking for the corner. He gets out to about the 42-yard line. The back gets three on the carry. The offensive line has got to do a better job of making space because that was just a punishing hit. who can run the ball are so hard to stop. You have to scheme around them, which takes the best coverages out of your defensive playbook. From the 49-yard line, first down. Gets out to around the 38. was the call, but the D lineman was the one who made his way to the quarterback. And he showed great quickness getting off the line into the backfield. This guy can move for a big fella. So the sack makes this a second and long. At the 46-yard line, the man defense proves to be too tough against the screen. That was an excellent job by the defenders. They fought off their blocks and found the ball before the play had a chance to develop. He's going to aim this one to the sideline, try to kick it out of bounds. No, he won't. He airs it out. Caught. Touchdown. Huge play. This offense just has so many weapons to defend. They've got some genuine playmakers. the PAT. An eight-play, 74-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calls on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. So our score, 14-10. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Arizona's running ability is what we've been talking about and looking at all week long, and that's what we thought would be on full display. It's been the air game, Fair. Yeah, it's an interesting move here, Brad. For a team with a start in the backfield, I'd expect them to try to establish the ground game a little bit more, but still early in this game, we're seeing them following this trend to see if it continues here in the second half. Game 15, 15 on the play. First, First down. down. First and 10. Ball on their own 40. Arizona holds a four-point lead. On the delay, and he's brought down immediately. A running back gets a yard, maybe less. Wildcats will use their first time out of the half. And it's caught, and he's brought down quickly. That'll bring up 34. 
Looks to his back, and he's got him again. Tackle made at the 38. I'm not sure if the back was his first option, but he got in the ball, and he was able to make something big happen. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 38-yard line. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. Let's it fly. What a pick. He didn't throw it away under pressure, and it really cost him. It sure did. He saw that he was going to get hit and just threw one up for grabs. He's got to learn to take the sack. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 26. Mark Schiff, 33. 33. So we've played two quarters. Arizona in front, 14-10. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Defense has been in total control in the first half, and you'd think maybe the offense's confidence was shaken. But if you want to look at the entire team picture, David, how big a deal is it for an offense to know, look, if we can just put together one, maybe two good scoring drives, our defense has got our back. Well, a lot of times when you know you have a defense, it's great, too, is you build your offense around it. And when I say that, why do I need to take chances? You know, if it's third and long, I don't mind throwing a five-yard pass, and if I break a tackle, I get a first down. I mean, don't put my defense that's dominant, that's great, in a bad position, and, and you can afford to be more conservative. You see it every single year. What do we always talk about here at ESPN? We talk about you, you defense wins championships, and that's how you win ball games, and you see it consistently unfold. So if I'm building an offense, let's just not put my great dominant defense in a bad position. Just about time to get you back out for the second half. Brad and Kirk will be along in just a second. You're looking forward to keeping an eye on everything around the country here. Got a good, a lot of good games going. We're locked and loaded. We got all the big screens going. You're going to be looking to hand out some helmet stickers later. Yeah. You're loaded, man. I'll try. You think you can keep on your shoes in the second half? I'll try to. They stinky? Yes. Brad and Kirk, you're at a safe distance. Take it away. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And they can forget about returning this one. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Passes in, and it's picked off by the safety. He's taken down around the 45-yard line. Nice interception and an even nicer vertical. Oh, yeah. This guy's an athlete. There's no throwing it over this guy's head. He'll go up and get it. First and 10. Ball on the 45. Arizona is up by four. Zips it to the back, and he hits him hard at the 25. Number 50 on the tackle at the 25 yard line. That'll make it second and inches. Get it! Blue seven! He's knocked out of bounds at the 25 yard line. Gains his way to the 10-yard line. 
That's a gain of 15. Time, time, time. That makes it first and 10. Right, and they make the stop around the one yard line. That's a gain of nine on the play. That brings, that brings up, up second, second and one. one. It's on a move. Touchdown. This kid is a really reliable weapon. You definitely want the football in his hands near the end zone, and he showed you why right there. He makes the PAT. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. The Wildcats continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. He tackles him hard at the 28. Gaining three yards. That'll make it second and seven. Second down, seven yards to go. Ball on the 28-yard line. They'll bring him down at about the 41. Superb effort by the receiver to come down with that ball. Well, this comes down to the timing between the quarterback and the receiver, and the result, again, a nice play for the offense. He's going to try and scramble. Brought down in the open field. That'll make it second and seven. From their own 44-yard line, second down. And he's level at the 44-yard line. That play was going nowhere. Yeah, give a lot of credit to the defense here, recognizing pass and swarming to the receiver. Looks like they've decided to go for it here. This defense not wanting to give an inch here. On the ground, left side. And the short gain is enough for the first. And that tailback definitely has a nose for that first down marker. He gets out to about the 45-yard line. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on the 45 yard line. You know what? After a play like that, I wouldn't be the least bit surprised if they went to the air again. This is the ninth play of this drive. on that play. Let me tell you, they didn't have any room to spare because they barely picked up the first down. It's first and ten. Ball on the 33-yard line. He takes it right side for a good game. And this is the 11th play of the current drive. He makes it to the 25-yard line. That'll bring up third and two. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. Gains his way to the 
16 yard line. 13th play of the drive coming up. Makes it to the eight. Nice job by the running back, and that'll get him seven, maybe eight yards. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Check 33, 33. Set. He fights forward to about the seven. We played three, and this is not what the experts predicted. 21-10, Arizona. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Three down, three down. Hey, check mark 33, check mark 33. Ready, Ready. set, set, get him! Well, they've got the lead and they come up with a big stop and it looks like they're going to go back. It's a good surge by defense. They really disrupted the timing on that play and gave them no chance to get the first. Well, folks, fourth down again and it looks like they're going to go for it again. Check, 33, 33. Ready! Yeah. Now he's scrambling. Got him. They try to throw for it, but ended up getting sacked. It's always a gamble going for it with so many yards to come up with. But when you're behind, sometimes you have to take risks to get back into a ball game. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. On the throw, incomplete pass. From their own 15-yard line, second down. Slings it out and it gets tipped. That is a big play here by the corner to be able to knock that football away. In many cases, you'll see a corner actually try to knock the football away and he'll interfere with the wide receiver. This time he keeps his body and arms away from the receiver and still knocks it away. That's a big time play. Complete brought down, nothing to him. The defense has everybody on the line. I think they're going to come after this one. And this one is a beauty. Tackle at the 46. And with the ups ready to get things going. Fourth and five. 
He scrambled. He's wrapped up for the sack. The offense is looking to be a little bit more successful with this drive as they had to punt the ball away the last time they had it. And down he goes at about the 45. From their own 45-yard line. Second down. Two minutes to go. Run up the middle. So it's going to come away with a first down on the play. But as it is, he still managed to lose He's tackled at the 28-yard line. And he has a huge run. I'll tell you right now, this guy is arguably one of the fastest players in college football today. There you see him turn it upfield with such fluidity and quickness. Tackle at the 17-yard line. That's another first down, Brad. And right now, you can just really feel and sense the rhythm that this offense is in. Their ability to pick up first downs, just pushing this defense further and further down, back deep into their own territory. Tackled after decent pick. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Here's the eighth play of the series. And he's tackled at the 10. Arizona staff just dancing on the sideline. Their star player came through for them, and they couldn't be happy. Well, the staff has to feel good. The entire team should feel good. And I know you and I just having a chance to sit back and, and watch this young man play. Uh, just an outstanding performance and something that this entire team will be able to build on. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.